Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. Happy mid November mid being right here already. Um, whew. so this last week was a lot. It was a lot. Um, maybe I'll just start with that. Just going back over my last week. Um, so it's been a lot of like kind of big decision time, I guess. Um, it's been, so I had some labs done and they didn't turn out as well as I hoped. <clears throat> Excuse me. I might be drinking some water during this. Um, just because the heat is back on and indoor allergies and all that stuff. I'll try to make it kind of quiet though. Um, yeah, they, so some of my labs didn't move at all. A lot of them didn't after taking lots of meds this last year. Um, but one did. And so I kind of want to see what my doctor says about that. He hasn't commented on that yet, but, um, yeah, it was kind of like, so I had to do labs for like two days in a row. I had to rush over, wait an hour, get those done and then come back, deliver another one. It's all part of Crohn's. It's all part of like trying to stay on top of what's going on and seeing, um, now it looks like I need to start a different kind of infusion. Um, it's hard because I have a lot of improved symptoms, but they're looking for more. So actually, let me light this real quick. Um, yeah, it's just, it was just kind of hard to settle into that idea. And so, yeah, like the rest of my week was just kind of like, ugh, ugh, you know, I've been working so hard on things. Um, but I'm kind of like wavering between, like I've had a really interesting arc of doctor experiences. I've had those who are like completely clueless. They have no idea what's going on. It's like, okay, you might want to go <laughs> read some things. Um, to, um, like those who are like, oh, just don't worry about that. Right. I, I've talked about my OBGYN, like totally ignoring my symptoms, then, um, realizing I had to have a hysterectomy over the summer because of, um, uterine cancer. So it's like, you know, it's a lot to, to deal with. And right now I'm kind of like, my primary care is not doing very well. She's like always out and maybe she has something going on and I don't fault her for that because I understand whether it's family commitments or um, any kind of personal health things she's going through. Um, but I need someone who's kind of more there. And so I've kind of started a process of a lot of doctors are just booked out right now. And especially the practice I'm trying to get into is like really booked out. So they said, well, come in and meet this one doctor so you can get like kind of first assessment and then we can kind of move you around the practice. So, um, I'm doing that, <laughs> have that scheduled for January. And, um, now I'm in the process of seeing about switching GI. I, I had a talk with the practice yesterday, which was really helpful. Like every single, like three different offices of this new kind of complex um, system network of doctors who I've had good experiences with, three of them have been like totally excellent having conversations with them. So um, actually four now. Yeah. Including my, my sons. Um, and it's, just been really nice to just, I think it's time to just switch, just time to get everything kind of moved over. And I am just thinking a lot, just thinking a lot of like logistics and I am going to meet with my current GI, um, at the end of the month in, um, well, this is going to be a whole thing I talk about too. Um, I go and see him in person and I have to reschedule my therapy. 
Um, and I am going to just keep with this last infusion. I'm just going to, and my mammograms coming up that week. I thought there was something else that week too. Oh, haircut I scheduled. And then there's a tree lighting in our area. Um, so things are starting to get booked up. I also, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I'm trying to think of like how much to share. I, I need to go in for no, another colonoscopy here. So I had got that scheduled, but then another family member needs to go in. And so we scheduled it. <laughs> so we'll kind of take each other, um, which I, we were just kind of laughing because it's right before Christmas. So this is Christmas Eve here, but it's easier to do when my son's off school. Um, and yeah, I, it's, <laughs> it's like the poop emoji and the Christmas emoji, the, um, Christmas tree emoji. Anyway, that's what's kind of going on there. Um, but just kind of like, <sighs> Yeah, it's just been a lot of running around. We got our furnace serviced. We got um, the lawn service should have been the last week. And then just running to Target a lot. <laughs> oh, and then we um, got a new full-size mattress for my son. We had him on a twin mattress on a full frame because I was researching mattresses. And so he loves it now that it's nice size. Um yeah. And then, so just kind of running out for like a sheet set real quick. And, um, yeah, it's just been a bunch of like little things and yeah, I, I wanted, um, to, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, we're go about to, um, sorry, I bumped the camera a little bit. Uh, I wanted to, well, we want to set up Christmas early. So we're going to put up our tree hopefully today. We cleared room um, and I think we're going to like not put out as much. <laughs> that's our, that's my goal this, this time and see if there's more to donate. We, I did pack away all of our Halloween stuff and it was nice to have it all fit in one box except for one thing. And yeah, I'm just kind of want to do like a minimal a little bit more minimal decorating and do it earlier. We're just kind of like, I okayed it with the family. <laughs> Usually someone says, no, not until after Thanksgiving or December 1st, but we're kind of going in all early. So I was thinking um, to get this kind of last bit of fall in, I was going to do this set, but I don't want to. Like I looked at this and I'm like, well, it's cute. I think I'll do it next week for Thanksgiving. I think it feels better for that. And I was just going to do some orange dots, but, um, I'd rather, cause I got a quick order from jet pens and I got some new scissors, which I really like. Um, I will link them down below. Is that wet? Oh, I think it's just some oil. Um, yeah, just to keep this, but it's, let's see if I can, there, it's like Alex Stainless, A-L-L-E-X, um, yeah, there's just a little oil there, but these are like kind of rubbery right here, so when you're using them, it actually feels pretty good, so I was complaining about my scissors, and so I really like these, and then I got some more, um, Girl of All Work, um, but this is brunch food. And I just, it made me so happy. <laughs> we just had brunch. Uh, and so I'm like, you know what? It's kind of food related, right? We're starting to think about prepping food. I got some uh, Brussels sprouts early because I didn't want to have to, like I'm starting to get some things that sometimes get bought up a little too quickly. Oh, and if you hear some voices, my son's finishing up his homework. So he's making some noise next door. Um, like I got the sweet potatoes or yams um, to make our, we have those cans. Uh, I wanted to get the Brussels sprouts early. And then I, um, you, you blanch them and then you flash freeze them. So like on a tray and then you can freeze them. Uh, we've had like just frozen Brussels sprouts and they do get a little mushy, but I wanted kind of like the bigger, nicer ones. 
Um, and then what else? I think my mom gets, she gets the turkey and then we get like a lot of the other stuff. The one, the thing that we do need to get is, um, like stuff for stuffing and I can't have eggs. So I make my own version, which reminds me, I think I need to put something on my list. Anywho. So I get like the fake, it's called just egg for the egg in there. And we do have an egg replacer, but I don't think it would work with stuffing. The just egg works pretty well. It I've made it that way for a couple of years. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of what's going on. Let's see. I put it at nine o'clock last week, but I just thought this was so cute. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Um, yeah, there's a little line there, but let's see. Can I avoid the line? Yeah. Oh, this is just making me happy already. So let's put this down. I'm just going to try to have that line kind of off the side there. Let's see. So that's kind of what's been going on. Um, yeah, I can't say that I'm not bummed about like, it is kind of a blow to go, oh, you mean all that work that we've done for over a year is just uh, on my meds. But sometimes that's how it goes, especially with Crohn's. So it's so individual We'll see if I can use the end of that tape somewhere else. Um, it's so individual that every biologic is going to be different for everyone. And sometimes you have to go up and down and then your body can adapt to it. And yeah, it's just, that's how it is. That's how it is. So Okay, this is making me happy. This is what I needed. Like, <laughs> Thanksgiving is going to be cute next week, but this, there's something so cute about a smiling piece of toast, right? And, like, I can't have the eggs, but I can pretty much, I guess this is maybe a little spinach and tomatoes there, or actually that can be like in, um, when we visited the UK, they had, you know, sausage and tomato and beans. I don't see beans on here, though. Anyway, definitely the coffee and the other stuff. <laughs> Very cute. And then my coordinating one is kind of like if it was like a checkered kind of tablecloth. Um, not quite, maybe a little dinerish, but it's not like the red checkered. It's just, this could be more like a picnic, but... I don't know. I I found that they kind of felt like they went together. Let's see. I think I want to go down to six or do I want to cover that up? I guess I'll, I'll put it down on the seven here this time. Do I want to, to go all the way over since I am putting it down? 7.30. Do I want a bunch of let's see if I have that much room up there um hmm I mean I can rewrite this moon but I don't really have anything that I'm too worried about let's try a little lower this is the time to try right <laughs> before I dive into my other planners, which I'm still figuring out a little bit. Um, the other thing that's kind of my next big project, since I got through a lot of the, um, medical stuff, like I still have a little bit to do next week to start some transfers of information and things is that, um, let's see, do they have kind of a green one? Which one's cute? I like some of these ones with little dots on them. This will be cute. Is that um, I need to move 
a bunch of my websites. So I do very much enjoy the website host that I'm at. Okay, this is making me happy. This is just making me happy. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, and I wasn't sure if like I should just get a whole roll of brunch, but we do brunches on Saturdays and it's very much a happy thing. Um, yeah, I have, so for the longest time, um, I was a web designer. I had so many clients on my, I made preview sites for them. And so I would put them on my servers and then we would transfer them over once they were done. Um, so I kind of have like remnants of all of that and I need to take a lot of things down, archive them and just, yeah, which is weird because, you know, to do websites for so long and, and I just always had like transferring all these files and things. Um, and now to think, oh, I'm may not even be coding anymore and even for my own stuff I guess it's it's mainly for like my stuff I'm thinking like you know maybe I don't know I'm trying to figure it out that that's my next thing so I was going to see about which color dots I want on the side here oh I just realized I didn't bring my cards over um I kind of like the lime green for the avocado and the, the teal I think is a little too dark. So I think I'll do this one. Um, yeah, I need to pick a new card. So let's start. Oh, let's make a, cause I really like how I've been doing this over here. Um, yeah. And I didn't have this little pill counter thing here last time. I'm not sure. Since my pills aren't working as well. Oh, I put that even higher. Oh, it's like at a, oh, what's that? What did I do? I did an 830. <laughs> okay. It is what it is. Um, Cause I think I'm gonna have some big to-do lists. So I'm fine with that. So we have two over so one, two, three things tracked and then up here and two over. So we'll do Monday, say, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We have steps. These are footprints. <laughs> They're like little footprints. Although they look like fat exclamation points. Um, a bed. For sleeping. Maybe I should put Z's for sleeping. That would be cute. And then water. And then pills are here. So, and then let me get my cards. Okay, I'm kind of glad I got this because um, it's kind of nice to look back and see like responsibility and dedication was definitely... <laughs> My MO this last week of just a lot of adulting and taking responsibility for things and yeah, yeah, that's just kind of where things were at. So let's pick a new card and see what pops up. And then I'll be able to put in the rest of the dots there. So another thing we did um, was have a split movie night. <laughs> We finally watched, um, because we are a nerdy family and we play a lot of Magic Gathering, uh, we actually have never played Dungeons and Dragons with the family. I was just thinking, we have the books, but we never have like played. Huh. Anyway, um, we finally watched the movie and I wasn't sure how it was going to be. And we actually split it between two nights. We saw the first half and then it was getting too close to bedtime and then we watched the second half last night. I have to say right where we stopped and started, um, they were just about to go underground. I don't remember what that area is called. It has a name. 
it was like there was the first half was kind of slow and the second half was awesome um and <laughs> some unexpected things and so, I mean, my husband worked for Wizards of the Coast for a while and was there when they were kind of like filming it. And, um, I mean, he wasn't like in that production, but, um, yeah, we were just like crossing our fingers. <laughs> it would be okay. Cause Wizards has had some duds. It's, it's Hasbro that owns it all, but I mean, it's technically Wizards. It came up with the property. So it was really cool to see, you know, the stars that were involved, the stars, the celebs, I don't know, whatever. And yeah, I have to say, like the second half really did bring it all together. And there, there were a lot more funny parts. Like there were, for me, there were like little chuckles at the beginning, but, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> this is my favorite card ever. Um... Uh, and I'll talk about that. Anyway, uh, little chuckles of things. And then the last half was just like, we were laughing a lot. It was good. It was good. So, yeah. So the reason why I love this, if you haven't, <laughs> couldn't see already, I have a candle that says Sanctuary here. This is the Four of Feathers Sanctuary and Rest. It's the sleeping bear um, getting ready for hibernation or actually hibernating. The four cards are all about taking a pause, taking a rest from things. Um, this being air and um, is like taking a rest from thinking, but also kind of reflecting. I'll let's let's read. Let's read. <laughs> See what. Um, it talks about, so, okay, four of feathers, which is an air card, but it's a bear. This is just how this deck has done, done it. Um, so here you can pause here to read that part and you can pause up here to read that part. Um, a navigator of the dream world, Bear appreciates the value of rest and quietude. He is instinctively knows how much downtime is needed to recharge. During this repose, uh, Bear ponders and reflects within the realms of the subconscious, trusting in the healing process that his sanctuary brings. Introspective and strong Bear is here to remind you you have within you all the answers you need if only pause and listen when overwhelmed distance yourself from the situation until you gain back enough strength to stand up to it again slow down sorry <laughs> my family slow down and nourish your spirit be receptive to your intuition by the grace of your inner sanctum regroup and recharge so retreat, rest, sanctuary, recuperation, healing, spiritual counseling, meditation. If moving forward is a struggle, rise from your roost and return to life. Consider where you are currently, where you currently need to focus your energies. Um, yeah, in the last part, losing faith. So I never do reverse cards. Sorry if that was off off the thing there. Um, I don't do reverse cards because to me, like I kind of look at my own intuition and go, okay, is it the top part or am I kind of needing to move forward if a struggle is going on? Like, I'll just kind of see which one I'm kind of in. I don't need to have the cards be reversed to tell me where, where things are at. So again, I use cards as inspiration. Um, and this, this is a huge inspiration to me right now. So love it, love it, love it. And in the future, I will tell you more why I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. Um, so for, do I want to write up here? Let me see if I can write on top because it's light enough. Four of 
feathers. I'm just going to put that there. And then I also find that actually I'll write rest here too because that to me those there's two different things. There's like taking a pause and kind of looking within and then there's actual rest when you're not <laughs> going deep into things. Um, yeah, I think I'll have these here. And now I think of these as little avocado dots instead of like money or or anything like that. I like the little avocados there. So awesome. That's really, really cool. And I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of tired today, but we're going to get some decorating done. I, I'm going to pace myself. So uh, I am going to look at the other things, but I'm going to just going to draw these lines real quick. Yeah, it's been a lot of scheduling, rescheduling. There's just a couple things to kind of move around slightly. And that's just like um, therapies that are weekly that just kind of need to be moved around a little bit. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? The holidays are coming. <laughs> and so that can be kind of emotionally charged for people. I know it can be a lot. Um, here's my therapy here. But I think we have a much quieter week ahead. Um... I'm just going to put the carpools that I know of. We did swap around a little bit last week, which was nice. Um, but I really like, we, we've always picked up our kid. And so we don't mind, <laughs> like we're going to be in the car anyway. We don't mind taking another kid with us. Let's see. Oh, I also want to do green for, I think the, Lawn's all done, so it's a recycling week anyway. So around 8 o'clock here, and then we're going to do a dot here for Ridwell, and then another one here, and then this will be for recycling, and then here is when we check our order is, hmm, let's put it there. And then the order comes there. And I do find those dots really do help. So write these in. And then I have to check what Ridwell is this week. We've had some wind coming through, some rainy storms, and it went from like the beginning, well this weekend, let's see, cycling, there we go. Um, it was really beautiful right before the clock change, like I remember driving around around five on Saturday, I think we went and picked up dinner to celebrate a birthday and it was just so pretty all the trees were still you know beautiful colors sorry I'm stretching out my back um and I was just like remember this moment remember this moment because it was just so pretty and now that like two storms especially last night night before there was a lot of gusts it's like any of the yellow trees I think are empty right now. <laughs> like our, our yellow maples are empty of their leaves. Um, and it's that quick, right? It's, I was just enjoying how much into November the trees were still going. We still have kind of a red maple going. Um, but yeah, you just kind of have to like savor those moments. So it's just nice. 
it's just nice. Um, yeah, I put some things to start off the week here, some reminders so far. I've kind of some more room now that this has moved up. I kind of want to see if like having this moved up, having this down, if I like it. I don't know if I like this part, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, so we're going to go to the actions. Remember, I had written them on the wrong pages. So this was my actions for the week. So I had my therapy. I did not do a podcast. I was, I know exactly what I'm going to talk about for my next one. I've known for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm pretty excited to talk about it because I think it's, I think it's really fascinating. But I had no energy after <laughs> running around for couple days of just trying to get labs done and getting the information back. And it's just a lot. So, um, filming right now for this, the hosting thing, that's what I'm figuring out like today and tomorrow. Like it was really good. I, to me, it helps so much to get like a bunch of health stuff done, like decision-making. We got on some wait lists of things. We got some new things scheduled. Like it's a lot. Um, and now I feel like even this morning, I'm making notes on like how I'm going to structure all my websites and how much I'm going to delete and archive. I was just doing that right before I hopped on. So I feel like I'm, it's actually kind of good. I didn't fully flesh out Shopify because I have another idea here. Um, so I'm just, it's all, it, it's all a lot of mind work right now. And I do feel like I've been making steps in these. So I'm going to actually check these off as in progress is being made. Um, been taking new med labs are done. Oh, I think next door is getting a little hard to do some homework. Um, and yeah, just scoping out new doctors. I have like steps that I need to do there. The water has been better, especially the last couple of days. There's been a lot more going to sleep early. There was one night I like barely remembered that I stayed up late just looking at my phone and I could not remember what I even looked at. Like, <laughs> like looking, going, wait, what did I even look at on my phone? Because I remember looking going, wow, it is super late. I'm not going to feel great in the morning. And I did not feel great. And I'm like, what did I even look at? I, I don't even know. <laughs> so I've been having a lot more success just going to bed early. Oh, I got some green on my finger here. Um, inviting Flo in. Um, we filled, so both um, cars were filled and the grocery list. Oh, and then we actually did a bigger grocery shop this week. So we're, we're doing really good right now. Um, furnace was done. The kitchen, we still need to like deep clean it. So um, then went to my son's new doc and got those questionnaires and then observing fall is just what I was talking about. So a lot of good progress. I feel, um, what I feel like for work is that there's a lot of streamlining and I'm saying no to a lot of things and I think that's helping. So I started writing out this here and so it's my actions for this next week here. So let me, I guess I don't need to hang on to that. Let me move this and we're going to flop back and forth here. But see, like Sunday, Monday. Oh no, these are two weeks apart. I was wondering why they're on the same side. I think I might just start writing them just in order here because I'm not doing any dailies back here again. So I think next week I'm just going to have it here and move forward with things. Um, let's see. So we have, I have my therapy and let's see, I think I'm going to start here. And then a reschedule because 
we have um, Thanksgiving off since it's on Thursday. So we already agreed not to do that. It's the week after that. Yeah, that I need to ask her to reschedule. And then um, I definitely do want to do. Um, yeah, and then other personal things like I've been in the past, I focused on like hair cycles and I like washing hair cycles of like how often I did get a haircut scheduled, um, which is really cool. Like I, I last saw her in the summer and it was, um, she was just absolutely amazing and it's going to be nice to go back and just get a little trim up. So, uh, and then like skin rituals, this is kind of actually, I'll put that down because going into the winter time and a lot of, um, blowing hot air around the house is, um, can be very drying. So I'm kind of paying attention to my skin right now. So that's just kind of personal. I just, it's kind of self-care to me, personal self-care. And again, if you're new, I use these, um, categories that match Moxie Life because I've been using that for a long time. I may switch things up, but my brain is pretty locked into what these mean. Uh, so definitely the podcast and maybe I should put the, what I want to talk about. So it's about experience. Maybe that'll help. Um, and then a plan with me. We aren't doing a reset, although actually I'm going to get a planner, two planners. So I'll probably have another. So I should be getting two different boxes. Um, sorry, I have a hair here because people shed. People have hairs on things. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's two different planners that I ordered, pre-ordered. Well, one technically wasn't a pre-order. One I pre-ordered and they're just finally shipping that out. The Aura Stell, I think is just starting to ship this week. They're a little late, but I didn't see quite the amount of, although I joined the Aura Stell Facebook group, but I hadn't been approved yet. And again, I don't have a controversial profile on there or anything. But I'm just kind of wondering if there were like people complaining like they did in the Sterling Inc. book, uh, Facebook group, because that group was my goodness. Um, there was a lot of emotions there. There was a lot of emotions. Um, and I just hope that it's, it's just, it's growing pains. It's shipping. It's, um, things happen things happen that are out of our control and a lot of people <laughs> were upset and I'm wondering if that's what happened to Aura Stell because they said late October and it's coming up on mid-November. It Again, I think it's just happening to everybody that is sourcing this kind of paper and you just have to like <laughs> kind of let go. But I also understand the frustration of all these things that I was scheduling yesterday, especially just all this week was in December and January and I needed somewhere to write that down. And fortunately, um, you know, there is a January in here that I created because this is the undated. Um, but I also got some booklets when they were available too. And that really helped as well. I got a little passport booklet and I've been keeping all like, January, February type things in there. And yeah, I'd be frustrated <laughs> if, if I didn't have that. But also I could just make, um, you know, maybe a grid or so here on some old pages and keep track of things too. Like it's, it's not impossible and it feels better to just go ahead and put them in once and have them in there. But um, yeah, a lot, a lot of emotions. I get it. I get both sides. Um, but also we need to understand it's out of our control. Um, I'm not sure. I need to message. I'm going to put two spaces in between. Message my GI and I need to message. Whoa. Dyslexia strikes me. <laughs> I was 
swapping some letters. I need to message my PCP. And both of those are the ones that I'm going to be swapping up. Um, labs are done. So then just, so getting a referral. How do you, well, referral. Is it two Fs, two Rs? The two Rs does not look right. <laughs> My brain is not into a spelling mode right now, so I'm just gonna see about referral. And then I need some requests for information. Like, I think there's four I need to do to allow access to my son's stuff and to also grant transfer of information as I'm going through all this. Um, and then water and sleep. So it's a lot of admin, which I'm much better with. Um, yeah. And sleep. Yeah. Okay. And the reason why I write flow is just the spiritual aspect of like, what do I want to pour my self into? And it's health and work. It's usually those two things, but I like to see, like sometimes it's house stuff. Um, if I have other things kind of, oh, okay. So, oh, this will be a bill pay week. That's what it is. I was like, do I not have anything for things? But no. Um, credit cards are all kind of cycling out. Try to get those to zero. Because um, as I've said in the past, it's just kind of a game for me. <laughs> it's just, it bugs me so much when like I can't pay anymore and there's this pending like $40 charge and then it goes on the statement and it's reported. But really those little charges don't do anything to my credit report anyway. It's just, it's just a game. And then, um, oh, there was something else. So not with the cars, not with groceries. Oh, Thanksgiving food. Just to keep that on the radar. And then what else? Possibly, see, I'm like going over here. I usually do this. I shift a whole block over. So um, let's see. So my son's therapy. And then what else there? They're reprocessing some claims and I already got a lot of paperwork done admin for that. Um, let's see. I'm just thinking aloud here. Um, stuff to do for fun. We might go back to finishing up the Mandalorian and I think the new one's called Ahsoka. Um, it's just something kind of for the family to do. Yeah, so let's, um, I thought there was something else therapy wise. I think I need to message his therapist. And then for fun, let's do some Mandalorian. Oh, there's a new Magic the Gathering set out. Um, so I might do some drafts this week, especially on a quieter week. And then any decor. We just want to get the trees up today. So, okay, let's put dots and then finish up. I think that's will be about it. Um, anything for the house? Actually, I didn't write down anything for the house. I'm going to put kitchen down because I, I think we're going to be, be focusing on the, um, 
decor and then like do kind of a cleanup. So we'll put that there. I think I might rewrite these and nudge them over a little bit. And then flow. Yeah, I put fun down here at the bottom. I switch up these orders. Usually they're kind of in a rainbow type order with like yellow first. It goes yellow, orange, red, purple. And um, then dark blue, teal, green, gray is the order that Moxie Life does, but I can do whatever I want. Yeah, these, once I get those lined up, these don't look too, I'll just leave them. I'll just leave them. So yeah, that's my goals for this next week. We'll do um, the following week here. And we'll just, I think it'll be nice to have them back to back. I'm actually looking forward to that in the new planner, which is still, <laughs> still going through like, so that'll be interesting. The take a note one, I really do want to try. And I'm also like, I think a lot of people are this way right now. They're like, we don't want to touch the new ones if we're going to resell them because it, they have a better resale value if you just haven't touched anything. But there's a lot of people who will buy like one who's just like a little bit used and they can just go from there. Um, but in the Sterling Inc., I have like tons of room to just have a section of like weekly actions back to back. And I think that would be so cool to be able to see them. Um what would be kind of nice is actually having these here have like a little, I don't know, something here and then the weekly actions just on one side every time. So it would be 52 spreads. That might be kind of nice. But you can't do that in Take a Note because Take a Note doesn't have any pages at the back. So we'll see. I got some decisions to make. Those decisions are coming after my website stuff. That is going to be the number one thing for this next week. Um, yeah, and then I have putting up the tree. We got to pay some bills. Oh, and then I got to look at some laundry stuff. Um, a bunch of fuzz came off on some of the shirts that I had, and I'm like, ah, I think I have to rewash them. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I need to put some room here for dinners. I'm actually going to make them span a little differently this time. Um, usually I start them at five, but we're kind of doing things a little different. And this will be really interesting, as I mentioned, because right now I can put a line next to it, but the Sterling Ink has these moved into the line. And I have to check, actually... Let me check real quick. Okay, I'm glad I got these because I wanted to show two things with these. So this is, oh, <laughs> Beth's art. Um, if you are a fan of cool art like that, I'll link her site below. Um, but I was just playing around with like maybe having some art in the, in the front. So on the weeklies here, okay, it's all the way to the side, these numbers. So... I think I'll do, I, I won't write on the numbers. I'm gonna write the lines here and then one more in, which are the same. Like I'm on the second line here, if it's like school and then I have other appointments during school here, just like this. It's really two over. So it's gonna be like, the, you get the same number of boxes, but that will be something. Oh, I'm just, I can't wait to. <laughs> Oh, this just makes me so happy because there's no bumps. Um, yeah, and actually, I didn't think I'd like this, but I do like this here. That's cool. That's really cool. So, yeah, I haven't even touched anything in here yet. Um, and I could put in my December stuff because I do have a lot in December. 
Anyway, so I just want to look at that. If, if any of you, I know at least one person, um, was messaging me about, she ordered a, sorry, it's going to be very reflective, uh, a magic of eye. If you want a cover, like I have never used any of mine with covers. Mine didn't wear out too much, but I was watching, um, uh, Dandelion Diaries and she said that the, uh, Hobonichi Han, 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 um, that, so their actual brand took, they're bigger that actually cover on top of hard covers. And I'm like, what? That would be kind of nice. And I'm like, well, I've never really needed one, but once I got this, it makes it feel so kind of sturdy and that like, it's going to totally protect this. Um, I thought I wouldn't like it. I thought I'd be like, oh, but I like how like silky it feels of my old one. But then sometimes this little band would get in the way. Now you can't put a whole lot in here. You could put some, um, but I like, I think Dandelion Diaries, she has a lot more like kind of stickers right here, but I don't. And that just fit like a glove. I just, I'll link this below. It's on jet pens right now. I think they're like 11 bucks, but I, I was like really impressed with that. It's not floppy. Like this is the cover, um, for Sterling Inc. And it's very floppy. Um, not only is this cover floppy, but it's, but this one is too small to fit, um, on the other one. Cause the other one has a thick cover. I just thought I'd share that because I felt like that was really helpful. And yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can kind of put here as my theme for the week. Um, mainly it's like Thanksgiving food. And then what else? Oh, some donations. Cause I know I'm getting a stack that I need to take. So, and then the kitchen. I think those are kind of like the things I can think of around the house, but, and then, um, oh, referral. I think that's how you spell it. I don't know. It might be two F's and one R. We're going to just go with that. You can, you can totally correct me in the comments. I give you complete permission to go ahead and do that. In the meantime, know that I already looked it up. And I know, and I have corrected it after recording this. <laughs> so, I think that's it. I hope you like um, just having a little fun this week. And I got two other uh, washi tapes that are just a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait to share them. One's like just more of a summertime one. So I don't think I'm going to show that until like next summer. But the other one just was very nostalgic. So you got to have some happiness and some fun. And, um, I just want to thank everyone again on, I'm way over 500 now, <laughs> way over meaning like, I think it was around five, 13, 14, somewhere around in there. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. And, um, yeah, I just have to figure out when I'm going to do a live and I'm not sure if it's going to be here because it's just like, it's right before Thanksgiving and that's really kind of a lot. I'm thinking the first weekend in December because I want to get through, yeah, Thanksgiving is a lot. I want to get through a lot of this. It's just kind of hard stuff. So I'm thinking, um, I think I'll put a poll up to see if like Saturday or Sunday would be better. I film these on a Saturday. I could pop up on a Sunday. Saturdays work better for me, but I think, I mean, I don't think too many people are going to tune in. It's just going to be something that, um, kind of most people can catch after, but I'm just kind of thinking, 
one of these days. So I think it's either going to be this December 2nd or 3rd, and I'll put a poll up and see if ever, anyone has a preference, if you would like to join live. If not, totally cool. I'll just talk to myself like I'm doing exactly right now. Like it really doesn't change anything. Um, and yeah, I think that'll be fun just to kind of celebrate 500. Um, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Like, subscribe, put the little bell on if you like. And I just appreciate every single one of you. I'd love to hear your comments below, please. If you have questions about things, like where to get things, how to do things, what to kind of keep in mind when you are scheduling something or dealing with chronic illness or dealing with chron uh, not chronic, um, neurodiversity, any of that, I would love to hear it below. So take care, everyone. I will see you next week. Bye.